This video is computer voice commentary. Are you okay with this? Make yourself at home. In this video show you, why did the QWERTY key layout become the de facto standard? Why is the keyboard the current shape? I will explain about. In addition, we will explain the problems currently existing in keyboards and propose solutions. All you have to do is listen to it, so please relax that time. The keyboard is an essential tool for using a computer. However, the keyboard is a product that is strongly influenced by the de facto standard, so there is no choice but to make it in order to pursue rationality and convenience. This part will be explained based on the history of the typewriter that was the basis of the keyboard. In the days when the typewriter was born, various manufacturers created typewriters with various shapes and arrangements. However, the de facto standard for keyboards today is the QWERTY key. Why is the key layout of the keyboard fixed by the QWERTY key? And the keyboard shape is also fixed in its current shape? There are two main reasons. First, the QWERTY key typewriter was cheaper than other typewriters. Furthermore, because it was a user-friendly company that repeatedly listened to the needs of users and made improvements, it was highly appealing. The second reason is that the QWERTY typewriter was widely loved by people who are a character input agency called typists. As a typing agency, it is a rational decision in terms of business strategy to choose equipment that is cheap and answers your needs every day. And the typist who learned the job there is accustomed to typewriters with QWERTY key layout, this person prefers the typewriter with the same QWERTY key input method even if he gets a job at another company. Thus, people who use typewriters choose the manufacturer's typewriter with QWERTY key layout for reasonable reasons. For these two reasons, the typewriter with QWERTY key layout has been de facto standardized. Once many people learned this, the keyboard almost lost the possibility of different directions because of the convenience that can be used with almost all home appliances. The first problem is the key layout. QWERTY key layout is not reasonable for many people to use. It is a heat map of the keyboard, but the QWERTY key arrangement has a bad load balance for each finger when inputting something. It is unavoidable that such data cannot be scrutinized until time passes. But the problem is that the pressure of the de facto standard is too strong. QWERTY placements that are not reasonably optimized in entering something reasonably efficiently are irrational. After learned QWERTY key input method, many people do not want to pay new leaning cost to learn new input method even if it's improve input speed. appreciate if you could refer to the heat map, but a QWERTY placement that is not reasonably optimized in reasonably and efficiently entering something is irrational. There are various opinions as to why the manufacturer that made the QWERTY layout typewriter made the QWERTY layout, and the decisive reason is unknown. As for the part that can be objectively suggested from the data, there are many phenomena in which the layouts and plans that were made at that time were thought to be rational were irrational in modern times. At that time, it would be reasonable to upgrade the standard according to modern rationality, but in the case of keyboard input, it has come to the point of dragging the standard of the typewriter without being upgraded due to various influences. The second problem is the shape of the keyboard. The keyboard is strongly influenced by the shape of the typewriter. It's obvious. Backspaces and delete keys didn't exist in the days of typewriters that couldn't go back. Humans are the creatures that make mistakes, the backspace key is best typed. The most frequently typed backspace is strongly affected by the expansion of the typewriter shape, so the most frequently used backspace is existed to the corner of the key layout. Backspace is optimized for typewriters that are optimized to avoid typos. On the other hand, 
modern computers can make typos, so there is a big difference in thinking about Buck's space. In this way, it may be said that the keyboard shape and key layout are not optimized for the modern environment, which reduces the productivity of many people who input keys. If people's productivity could be improved by about 2 minutes in an hour using a modern optimized keyboard, they can get 2 minutes per hour would allow them to use that 2 minutes their resources for other things. We would like to help improve people's quality of life by developing modern optimized keyboards. As a prerequisite, the keyboard shape I'm going to discuss is not the best rational. It is a rational keyboard that I have derived from the possibilities that exist infinitely. If you can share that part, we are in extremely delighted. When creating a keyboard, minimal blind touch is possible. It is possible to respond resourcefulness while maintaining a high degree of flexibility. We will develop a keyboard that meets the above requirements. We made a grid type keyboard with 4 rows and 12 columns. It is a so called 40% keyboard, or plank keyboard. Considering the input efficiency, it is desirable to be able to perform blind touch without looking at the keyboard. If you have a keyboard with 5 vertical rows of numeric keys at that time, many people may have to move their view from the monitor to the keyboard as they type. This is an action that delays input efficiency. So we have adopted a vertical 4 column layout that allows input without looking at the keyboard. This is the reason for adopting the grid type keyboard design. But the current keyboard design that inherits the design of the typewriter is not at least optimized at present. I would appreciate if you could confirm the image, but I could not align the vertical rows because the typewriter had to support the keys with vertical bars. It is a remnant of the typewriter that the keys on the keyboard are not aligned in vertical lines, because the typewriter was structurally unable to align vertically. In this way, the keyboard just follows the design of the past. Because unless the design recognizes that the majority is the same product as the typewriter, people hard to buy that product. For example, suppose you develop and sell a typewriter, word processor, that allows you to make typos many times. If that product is in the form of a typewriter, many will recognize it as an upgraded typewriter. If it don't follow the design of a typewriter, most people won't be able to buy that product because they can't recognize it as a keyboard. Suppose there are a lot of people who use typewriters. Or people who are thinking about using typewriters in the future. Given that the people's complaints are that they can't mistype. They sell a word processor that can be controlled by a computer different from a typewriter. At this point, we are structurally free from the mechanical problem of having to arrange the keyboard shape into a keyboard like a typewriter. Even if you develop and sell a newer word processor that may be more convenient, many people do not recognize it as an improved version of the typewriter, many people understand it is something new. This is because many people are not very sensitive or understanding of new technology. If this happens, it will lose prospective customers who want typewriters who can mistype as much as they want or who want to use the latest typewriters. Because many of those people can't recognize a new input placement word processor as a word processor. This is a big part of depriving these products and services of rational change. And we are squeezing the choices and possibilities of those who prefer improved rationality and operational efficiency. As a big dilemma of products and services, there is a dilemma that it cannot be spread unless it is a product that is accepted by a large number of people. And it cannot survive unless it is established as a business. Therefore, since it has to be established as a business, it is inevitable to develop a product that can be understood by a large number of people. As a result, systems and products that lack significant rationality and convenience become the de facto standard, and as a result, a large opportunity loss is created. This lost opportunity is not just about labor productivity. For example, 
suppose that using rational products can increase people's labor productivity and save 10 minutes a day. Perhaps, people use that 10 minutes to may be able to spend 10 minutes longer with their family or 10 minutes longer sleep to improve their quality of life. That's why it think that it is not the best environment at present, where some people who actively want to improve labor productivity and improve quality of life suffer opportunity loss under the influence of de facto standards. We will explain the development of products that can improve the quality of life of people by developing a keyboard that solves this problem. This time I will explain how to create a keyboard case using a 3D printer. The PC used for this development is here. Reproducibility may be improved by using the same equipment. Creating an original, non-standardized keyboard can be very time-consuming and painstaking. Since the minimalistic keyboard that we will create this time also has to be designed from the frame, it will be very costly to learn what to learn and the equipment to purchase. I'm using the 3D CAD app to create a grid type keyframe that supports keyboard switches. Mechanical key switches require a space of 14 mm2 per location. Next is the feeling of the gap between the keys, which is 5 mm2. Regarding the CAD data created on the assumption that it is output by a 3D printer, there may be some error in the output of the 3D printer. Even with a highly accurate 3D printer, an error of about 0.001 mm will occur. You need to know the error of your 3D printer. Since the error of the 3D printer used this time is 0.1 mm, the key switch holes are 14.1 mm in length and width, and the gap between the keys is 5.1 mm. Finally, the thickness of the frame is 2 mm. Output the completed data with a 3D printer. It is a printed plate. We would like to commercialize and sell this minimal keyboard. However, it takes a lot of effort and development cost. We need to have enough subscribers to sell a certain number. The thickness of the frame is 2 mm. Thank you for your warm support. That's all. Thank you for your hard work. I'm glad if you can use it as a reference. Thank you for watching until the end. This video is run by your unlikes and channel registration. I kindly thank you for your warm supported by unlikes and channel registration. See you in the next video. It was a prototype.